Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. But this morning I wanted to try a little experiment with uh, reflected light. I want to see if the intensity stays there if you reflect it several hundred feet. So if you look over here at the base of this poplar tree, I have a mirror set up there. And I'm reflecting it 150 feet away over to right there. Then I'm going to take and reflect it back over here where the tripod is at. This tree up here uh, by the porch. And for a total of 250 feet, then we'll try to use the uh, Fresnel lens, the page magnifier. And see if there's enough intensity to go ahead and get a solar ignition. So let me get down there and try, you know, these aren't, these aren't static. The uh, rays are shifting and changing all the time as the earth rotates and you would think as the sun is moving across the sky, but I guess it's as the earth is rotating. So let me get on with it and see if we can pull this off. Interesting. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Let me show you this other mirror that I'm fixing to mount on that tree there. And I think I'll just take a little bit of duct tape. Stick it to the back of this thing. And then over on the front. And that'll give me this little tab right here to run a screw through into the tree. Let's see if I can do it. when you're doing solar experiments. I'm going to redirect this mirror where it's hitting that mirror straighter and I should have a lot more intensity for right here. I got a direct hit on this mirror now. Let me spin you around and show you this one. That's a direct hit right there. Now it's really bright. We ought to be able to get the solar ignition right there. That's 250 feet of reflected sunlight reflected off of two mirrors.
We'd already be there if I could figure out where the tightest focal point is at, but it's hard to tell on pine needles. And this time I'll show you the effect over here. I'm down below that mirror. Let me raise up on it. This time I left that focal point a little bit high so I'd have time to get over here and get set up. Let's try that. Finally, that's an aggravating experiment because you really have to, you have to adjust one mirror a little bit high to give you time to get back up here and make the ignition, but we got it. It's hard to get something like this on video too, isn't it? Let's take one last look at what we got here. Let's go down into the yard and look at it. There's the mirror that catches the sun's rays and reflects them 150 feet over to that tree. And then from that tree, 100 feet back over here to the work area. Alright y'all, thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.